Paddington at the Carnival by Michael Bond. One day, Paddington's friend, Mr. Gruber, took him on a surprise outing to a part of London known as Little Venice. It's called Little Venice because it's by a canal, he explained, and every spring they hold a big carnival. Boats come from all over the country to take part in the celebration. Paddington always enjoyed his days out with Mr. Gruber. He waved as one of the boats went past. All the people on board waved back. I've never been for a ride in a canal before, said Paddington. Who knows, said Mr. Gruber mysteriously. Perhaps you will before the day is out. But first of all, we must see what else is happening. We don't want to miss anything important. He pointed to a board showing all the different events. But there were so many, Paddington didn't know which one to try first. How about the Busy Bee Adventure Trail, suggested Mr. Gruber. You have to find as many things as possible, beginning with the letter B. Paddington thought that sounded like a very good idea, especially when Mr. Gruber told him that the first prize was a free boat ride for two. Bears are good at trails, Mr. Gruber, he explained. Looking around, he could already see lots of things beginning with the letter B. Apart from B for board, there was a boy blowing bubbles, a man eating a bagel, and another with a broom, a barbecue, and a lady selling bananas. There were boats everywhere and lots of balloons. There was even a man playing a banjo in a band. After, Mr. After Paddington had finished writing them all down, he and Mr. Gruber set off along the canal. In no time at all, Paddington had added five other items to his list. First, there was B for bridge, and then blackbird, buttercup, blossom, and butterfly. They hadn't gone very far when they saw a lady feeding some ducks. She was wearing a bonnet, a blouse, fastened at the neck with a brooch. Around her wrist, she wore a bracelet. When she saw Paddington, she smiled and said, Would you like some? Thank you very much, said Paddington. He wrote down bag and bread, and then he raised his hat politely and said, Busy bee adventure trails make you hungry. This is the sort of day out I like, Mr. Gruber, Paddington announced as he took the jar of marmalade, marmalade from his suitcase and began making a sandwich. <clears throat> Mr. Brown, Mr. Gruber gave a cough. I think you were really meant to give the bread to the ducks. Before Paddington had time to reply, there was a loud buzzing noise, and then something landed on his marmalade. Paddington gave the object a hard stare before adding B to his list. Next, they came upon a nice man fishing. I think you've struck it lucky to. I think you've struck lucky, Mr. Brown," whispered Mr. Gruber. He waited patiently while Paddington wrote down "box," followed by "beret," "beard," "belt," "buckle," "boots," "bucket," and "basket." Would you like to have a try? Asked the man. You can use some of my worms if you like. Paddington thought that was a very good idea, but first he wrote B for bait. If you're going in for the busy bee competition, said the man, you should watch out. There's a boy following you, and I think he's up to no good. Paddington was about to say thank you when he felt a tug on the fishing line. I think it might be too big to go in my jar or whatever it is, he exclaimed. It feels like a W for whale. I'm not sure you'll find any whales this far inland, Mr. Brown, said Mr. Gruber tactfully. All the same, to be on the safe side, Mr. Gruber tied some rope around his friend. Strike me pink, said the fisherman. It's a bicycle. Paddington was most disappointed. Never mind, said Mr. Gruber. At least it's another word for your list. Shortly afterward... They came upon a stretch of water with high banks and trees on either side. Paddington decided to have a go at riding the bicycle, but he soon discovered why it had been thrown away. I think I'd better hold the other end, Mr. Gruber, he gasped, pointing to the rope still tied around his waist, in case I fall in the canal. Mr. Gruber was about to explain that if he did that, there would be nothing for anyone else to hold on to, 
when he saw the look on Paddington's face. Is anything the matter, Mr. Brown, he asked. I think we're being followed by a bee for bush, Mr. Gruber, hissed Paddington. Come back, shouted Mr. Gruber, whoever you are. Meanwhile, Paddington added binoculars to his list. While he was writing, a boy went past and one of the or a, a boat went past and one of the passengers had a baby on her lap. She was feeding him from a bottle. The baby was wearing a bib and his sister was holding a ball. Mr. Gruber sat down by the water while Paddington added up his list. Altogether with bank and brambles next to Mr. Gruber, he had 41 things beginning with the letter B.